Hi, I'm Lachlan Wilmot and the co-owner here of Athletes Authority. G'day guys, Lockie Wilmot here, co-owner of Athletes Authority. Back here we're talking about the push band, velocity-based training, and how we use it practically in our environment here, and how hopefully you guys can use it in a practical environment as well. One of the best things, the absolute best things about push band is the free movement mode, and I absolutely love it. Using it with med balls, using it with plyos, and starting to try and quantify and give feedback to athletes while they're bounding, leaping, throwing, is one of the best supports this band has. So we've got Brendo back. He's gonna take us through a couple of exercises, one being a med ball throw. We're gonna see how we can get some feedback with it, and then also we're gonna do some plyo work and see how we can get some feedback with it. With this, obviously distances, heights, they're really good ways to quantify plyometric work and give feedback to the athlete, but velocity-based work is one of the fastest ways and a really good style to be competitive with the group, competitive with the team, and have a little bit of challenges that these guys need to hit with the band. So with the free movement mode with our push band, it uses both the video camera and the push band to create a data index that we can use. So it allows it to be a little bit more accurate by taking both the visual side and obviously the accelerometer within the push band. So Brendo's gonna give us a little bit of example of a med ball slam, and we're gonna see how he can improve the speed as he starts to dial it up. Okay, Brendo, let's give us a single effort, about 80%, let's see how you go. Beautiful. So you can see here, Brendo's got a little bit of velocity spike there, and it's recorded his speed, so we save that. So you can see that Brendan's now hit 4.23 metres a second for that. He was around that 80% mark. Let's see if he can't get a little bit more explosive with it. So we're going to go back into it. Brendo, let's go again, mate. Okay, nice and explosive. You go. Beautiful. So you can see it's picked up a spike there, and I believe we're over five at 5.29 metres a second. So a new PB for Brendo. Great effort. So as you can see, a nice simple demonstration there of how Brendan's gone from roughly 80% speed up to a maximal effort. We've picked up the difference and we can set PBs. So when it comes to competitive work for athletes, to be able to have individual PBs that they're targeting is a fantastic way to do it. Especially with med ball work, where it's almost impossible to quantify what sort of speeds the athlete's moving them at. So as you've just seen with our med ball slam, it's a really easy way for us to quantify some more explosive movements. Now we're gonna have a look at a bit more plyometric option. So Brendo's got the push band strapped around his waist. You can see it on his back there, ready to go. And we're just gonna do a simple broad jump and see what sort of data we can collect. Okay, Brendo, ready to go, mate. Let's line up. About 80%, let's see what we can produce. Great. So as you can see, Brendo's done a nice little jump, it's picked it up, recorded him at 3.05 metres a second. It'll process that video, store it, and save it for later. So now let's see if we can dial up the speed again and get another 100% effort out of you. Here we go. Okay, ready? Whenever you're ready, go for it. Great jump. So we can see now Brendo's hit 3.41 metres a second. So we can save that. That becomes a new all-time best for him. So it's a fantastic effort, and again, another way we can start to create a little bit of competition for our athletes, challenging each other, comparing PBs, trying to beat each person. As you can see, the free movement mode allows you as a coach to be really creative in what you do. Start to challenge your athletes in areas that perhaps were harder to record previously, like med ball slams. Really good for rotational purposes as well. Really good way to challenge athletes, make it competitive, and also track progress over time. So if you want to look a little bit more into the blog, again, push, have it up on their website, so make sure you click and have a look. But next week, I'm going to be handing the reins over to Seton Humphreys, our head of our athletic development, and he's going to take you through the portal side of it. So this is the push portal that is going to be on the old nerd box, to quote Dan Baker. So he's going to take you through the computer and show you how we plug it in, how we monitor it, and how our athletes can use it.